So hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. So we're gonna be doing a full get ready with me girl. We're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna do makeup, hair, outfit, and fragrance, okay? So if you're interested in that kind of video, just keep on watching. All right y'all, so we're starting off with a fresh slate, okay? Y'all know your girl is blind, so I got my mirror right here. Um, my mirror in the back, don't mind it. I know it's been in the back for like several videos, but as y'all know, well, if you're if you're new here, you probably don't know. I'll link my moving vlogs up here. I had my housewarming a while ago, and I don't really know what I'm doing, but yeah, <laughs> I don't even know how to mount that thing. So yeah, we're we're figuring it out as we go, and we're documenting the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah so i want to like recreate a look but not really like in regards to the hair i want to recreate the look so um i'm sure you guys seen me at the beginning so we're gonna do the makeup first then the hair and then we'll get into the outfit and fragrance so that i can go take my instagram pictures okay period so yeah i am on my dot so if you see me moving around or looking uncomfortable or looking like something is a strain on my face, it's just a cramp. Don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, so I am going to be using my Smudge Cosmetics palette today. I like to do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow first and then move into skin. Um, so this is the palette. It is the Cloud9 palette. You guys have seen me use it several times. Mine's a little messy because I use the hell out of it. But yeah, this is how it looks. Can y'all see that? yeah so this is how it looks and any information you guys want on it i'll leave it down below i also have a discount code with smudge cosmetics so that will also be in the description box as well but yeah that's another little chit chat about what i'm doing because it's not a tutorial this is just a get ready with me you know we're just chilling today doing our makeup and um yeah i need a pencil sharpener um I'm over here talking to y'all. Let me put some chapstick on. Your girl has chronic uh, dry lip. All right, so let's do these brows, honey. All right, so y'all, I'm just gonna brush my hairs up. I have been in kind of a funk. I haven't really been posting like recent content on Instagram. Like I posted like a little snippet. Uh, there was something in my eye. I posted like a little snippet of when I got my hair done by Corey's mom. But other than that, I haven't really been like popping out on the gram. And if you've been following me for a while, then you know last year during quarantine, I had a lot of brands like sending me stuff. I was purchasing from black owned brands and stuff, supporting everybody's launches. And I was posting every single day on Instagram um, the month of August. Yeah, the month of August and September, right? Then I started doing Instagram Reels in October for my birthday. And ever since then, I have not stopped. So basically, I feel like if it's not an Instagram Reel, I'm really not putting forth much effort into it anymore. I'm filming, I'll call you back. Oh, so proud. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not oops, I'm proud. <laughs> that was Jasmine. What was I saying? Yes, I feel like if it's not an Instagram reel, I am. Um, yeah, if it's not an Instagram reel, I'm not really putting forth much effort into it. So I want to take pictures today back how I used to. Um, when I first moved in here, I did take a couple pictures, but it wasn't like boom bop bop you know like they say that if you want to like reach your 10k on instagram you have to post once every day i can't i don't have it in me okay i really don't i really don't have it in me so yeah uh i can't do every day but i'll try to like kick it up a notch again because i know i am able and god is able and the universe is able and I can do anything I say out loud, period. All right, to be honest, um, my makeup has not been taking that long for me to do. 
mostly because I don't know I know how to do my own makeup like that and I've been using like powder foundation lately I haven't been doing like the actual beauty blender wetting in and doing all this stuff I've just been doing my brows my eyeshadow sometimes lashes really just make or break you at this point when it comes to Instagram and um yeah really it's all about the hair brows and lashes when I tell y'all, I just find so much joy in filming. Like, I had somebody ask me, do I just get bored of filming ever? No. <laughs> I really, like, love filming for you guys. So, yeah. I like filming, PowerPoint, stuff like that is my thing. So, <laughs> um, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd be doing something in regards to creating. I love creating. I used to draw. I also used to be a makeup artist, y'all. If you, you probably don't know that, but I was a makeup artist for a little bit. Like I stopped working. Like I literally quit my job and did DoorDash and was a makeup artist. Like literally just said, forget all my responsibilities and just chase my dreams. And it worked out for a while. I was just getting annoyed when it came to like cancellations and stuff because you'll sit there all day with a, a blocked schedule and nobody else can book that time and then the person will cancel like five minutes prior and then you'll only have the deposit and it's not uh it's not going to add up as much as it would for the full service so that frustrated me because i was in like Sonia at the time i could see if i was like in atlanta but yeah i was in like Sonia at the time and so i just stopped doing that um yeah but i still like will do my friends makeup if they ask me and obviously y'all be seeing me beat my own face so yeah that's where we're at with this now and yeah i don't have a cosmetology license i'm literally self-taught from youtube so when i was younger i used to sit there and watch um makeup tutorials all day long like i used to watch um Larasia, Andrea and I used to watch um who else I used to watch Nikki tutorials James Charles like I was that kid that was always at home watching YouTube like it's television and I'm still like that so yeah uh I was recreating this picture right here it's from my birthday last year yeah it's from my birthday last year and I have that same wig still I found it in my bin of clothes that I still haven't hung up because I'm all over the place with this new spot that I have. So yeah, let me go ahead and get an eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna do like a nice little smoky eye look today. Cause I feel like that translates the best on camera for me. And I'm gonna go into my Cloud9 palette and grab Level Up. It looks like this, if y'all can see it. It's this one right here, the dark brown one. Um, and I'm just going to basically pack that onto my lid. No rhyme or reason. Okay. I'm so glad that it comes with a mirror in here. Because like I said, y'all know this. Your girl is blind. She can't see a thing. It's actually tragic. I literally considered LASIK before. But then I found out that they don't put you to sleep for that. You literally are sitting there like with your head stuck inside this like machine with this thing over your head and you're watching the needle come down and then it paralyzes your eyes so the whole time you're awake and the anxiety that i just feel even just explaining that to you guys um it's a no for me so yeah i guess i'll just be in glasses the rest of my life because i'm not about to be traumatized just to be cute you know <laughs> So, yeah, I'm cute with my glasses, okay, period. So, we don't really have to change that. It was just a preference because my eyes, like, y'all, my eyes are, like, super freaking pretty, okay? So, I try to capture them on Instagram, but I usually can't because, you know, the big lashes or I have my glasses on. So, I try to take pictures without my glasses on. And then when people see me in person, they're like, Oh, you wear glasses and i'm like you don't watch the vlogs because i always have my glasses on because i wouldn't be able to walk around the house without them i mean i know where things are but like if i was looking for something it'd really be a pain y'all should see me when i lose the glasses 
I used to have, um, where are my glasses? I was about to show you. Oh, they're right here. See what I'm saying? So these are my glasses right now. I used to have the clear frames, right? Y'all, the clear frames are from the devil, okay? Because when you lose them, when you're blind and live alone, and you are looking for clear glasses that might have fell under your bed, you will never find them, y'all. I used to walk around with the, the flashlight and wait for it to like hit against like the actual frame so that I know that it's down there. Like it was really bad. Sometimes I would have to take my phone camera with the flashlight and just uh, run it underneath and then watch the video back to see if there were under, it was really bad, like really, really bad. So I switched back to the black frames. The, the, um, the clear frames were super, super freaking cute, but it wasn't cute when I lost them. And I'm alone like 89% of the time. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that wasn't the move. So I had to do something that was more self-efficient for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this shade Transition and mix it in with Be Humble. So this is how I blend all my colors together. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. Okay, so that is how I do my smoky eye. It ain't no rhyme or reason. If I'm feeling real frisky, real frisky, honey, then we go in with the black eyeshadow. And that is in my James Charles palette, which I really should throw away because your girl doesn't understand what an expiration date is, obviously, because she be, she be riding with stuff till the wheels fall off. Like, literally, the palette will have to fall apart for me to stop using it. It's such a bad habit I have. Next, I am going to go in with my fawn concealer and I'm just going to go under. I dropped my makeup brush. Uh, I'm just going to go under my eyes a little bit. Yeah, I don't really know how this like turns out good every time because I really freestyle when it comes to my own face and I only go in order if I do everybody else's face. So, yeah. <laughs> but you know, you know your face best. So, you're down there. All right, so here's how the um, concealer goes, okay? And I use powder um, bronzer as my contour. And the uh, powder foundation I use is always the Bare Pro Bare Minerals. And I used to use hazelnut. They don't have hazelnut anymore, so now I use Expresso, which is shade 27. If you're interested in that information. Uh, sorry, y'all. I'm a little weird. If you're new here, sorry. Not really. This is just how I am. So it's good you see this now. It's good you see this now and then make a decision if you want to stay. <laughs> what am I looking for? Alright, we're just gonna run that guy in. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the powder foundation, Bare Pro foundation, and just hit everywhere we didn't hit the concealer at. All day long. We're gonna go in with the bronzer. Sorry y'all, my, my uh, window is open behind the camera, so that's what I was looking at. So this is the Revolution bronzer. Um, I like the other one that they came out with too. Look at all that damn take back. This camera lens is good, okay? Cause y'all can see all that powder falling out. Yeah. That doesn't really bother me. Kickback, all that stuff doesn't really bother me, but I don't know about some people, so yeah. 
So this basically just brings the color back, the definition to the face, okay? I go down the nose from the brow on both sides because I don't like powder foundation. I mean powder, I powder, uh, I don't like liquid concealer to contour with. That's what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how to speak English, so. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I basically, um, just hit like where you would contour it with the bronzer. I bring it up here, you know, definition. I'm just like my bun back a little. And yeah, it just brings the definition and all that back to your face. And then I go under my chin so we can disguise. I got a little flab going on. It's not that dramatic but if i relax then it could be dramatic so i make sure to hit that <laughs> and yeah boom face is done you feel me we just gotta put on the lashes and let me tell y'all about these lashes hold on first i'm gonna do the stay all night microfine setting mist mist i was about to say spray but it's really a mist and we're just gonna spritz that face girl This stuff was only $3 at Target. If you don't have this in your collection, <laughs> what are you doing? I just need to know. I just need to know. Then I'm gonna take my Smudge Cosmetics lip gloss. Y'all already know the drill. Y'all know the drill, okay? And I'm just gonna smack that guy on. This is like a clear, sheer pink color. So, yes. One dip is all you need, okay? You don't need to double dip into smudge, okay? All that product comes off one dip in, okay? Big powder. So we got two choices today. We got dramatic and we got full from the That's So collection. If you're new here, you might not know that's my brand, a period. So we relaunched on July 3rd. If you're interested in shopping with me, the link is always down below in the description box. We also have sunglasses uh, in the style Sudidi and in the style Bougie. I removed one, so that's what I was thinking about. Um, and we're coming out with some more. But as we transition, I want to take the focus away from just lashes. Um, I have lash applicators on there as well, but I do want to, you know, branch off into a different direction. I'm not exactly sure still, and I wanted to stop keeping y'all waiting on a relaunch. So I went ahead and relaunched your top faves back to the website. So yes, if you're interested, you can follow us on Instagram and you can also um, shop with the link down below. Yes, thank you for your support in advance. <laughs> so I think I'm feeling like a little, a little toned down today. We doing dramatic or we doing full? Dramatic, full, dramatic, full, dramatic, full, dramatic, full. Uh, we can do, let's do full. All right, y'all, all right. So you can get these lashes too for $15 if you're interested. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, I'm just saying like, look at me, what? <laughs> so yeah, um, under here is not even, like I have this long bonnet scarf on, y'all seen it in my last vlog, but it's just my braids under here and I was laying down my edges. So yeah, we got the little set it all braids up under him, but babe, but that's okay, all right? And then I have this unit scarf on just to lay the front part of my edges down. The sides, they always just do their own thing. But I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna flex. They just do their own thing, okay? I just, I don't know. So, y'all know this is my fave. It's the Got To Be Insta Hold Spray. And that is what we're gonna use to seal down this lace, baby. So, believe it or not, this wig that I'm using today is synthetic. <laughs> And it's from my birthday, right? She's so cute. And you guys really liked the um, the blonde and brown effect that was going on on my face. So this is a sensational wig from the Beauty Bus store, but they have it on Amazon, so I'll link it down below too. And it just goes into a lighter blonde. So yeah, we're gonna be plopping her on our head today and playing around. I 
I'm not wearing a wig cap today either. So yeah, I'm gonna spray her down. When I had her installed, I installed it myself for my birthday because everybody is inconsistent and unreliable when it comes to my hair back then. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just going to spray her down, no big deal, but I can't talk and do my hair, so this is going to be sped up. <laughs> as you can see very easy to install okay I didn't put any makeup on that part okay and it's just melted into my skin bye bye and so let me take the glasses off so y'all I can get the full effect here of the hair and makeup together okay big putter, big putter. and yeah let's go ahead and jump into outfit and fragrance so here is the outfit it is just this halter top okay can be center okay it's just this halter top it looks like this okay um it's from Shein and it comes with a matching skirt I'll back up because with a matching skirt like this so what I'm debating now is should I wear my white mini bag and my white Bottega dupes with it so this is how the Bottega dupes look they look like this so I wear these, they strap up my leg. I wish I could respond in real time, but this is how my process is going. If I wear these, then I have to wear the little white mini bag to tie all the white in together. But I was thinking maybe I should do the black heels, right? The black heels, strap them up, and then pair it with this purse. That way it all ties in. I think I'm gonna go in this route only because I don't really wear this purse like that. And it kind of brings everything together. So, yeah, this is the fit. And then for fragrance, we're going to use the fragrance from Juicy Goods. And it is a dupe for the, um, this is Golden Hour, so it's a dupe for Bacharach. And it really, really, I just like to smell good for myself. Because no one is ever out there when I take pictures. So, <laughs> I just like to smell good. It makes me feel good. And when you feel good and smell good. Your pictures come out good because you just feel like that big. Even though we got a little bloat going on because Aunt Flo is up in the building. But, you know, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, let me know if you like this style of video. It was very fun to film. And, yeah, until next time, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.